Hello, my name is Nick Belmonte of GourmetReviews.net. A lot of the restaurants are closed and you probably got stuff sitting in your pantry. <coughs> like I do. Loaded with spices and things you never used. I bet you got packages of yeast in there too. Might be dead, might be alive, but always get a new package of yeast. Okay, so what I'm going to do today, I will show you how to make focaccia. And from focaccia, you could learn how to make breads and pizza dough. But focaccia is a little different than pizza dough. It's a very wet dough, and you sort of shape it with your hands. You don't go pulling it, stretching it, throwing it up in the air. So, let's get started. I'm first going to start by blooming my okay, yeast. Okay, so I have a package of yeast. And what I'm going to do, I have warm water here, about a cup and a quarter, and you can always add the wa more water too. I'm putting in a tablespoon and a half of sugar, okay, and I have my yeast package right here. The rapid rise is very, very good. So I put these little granules into my measuring cup and then I'll start. And of course you could see how tight things are getting here because I'm stocking food all over the place and water and toilet paper. So my closets are filled, or filled. Stir the yeast and let it sit about 10 minutes. If it foams, it's alive. If it doesn't foam, get another pack. Okay, I'm back. Look at how my yeast has bloomed. It got nice and foamy at the top of the water. The water got cloudy, that's what you want. The sugar helps activate the yeast. What I put in this bowl here, you'll see four different things. I have a tablespoon of garlic powder. I know I usually use a lot of fresh garlic, but this case calls for garlic powder. I have a tablespoon of Himalayan pink salt. I have three tablespoons of Italian seasoning and a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to add that to my flour mixture. And if you could see that. And I'm going to gently whisk that together. It'll mix easy because everything is dry and you don't want to create a, a storm. The next step, add your yeast. Keep on turning and it's going to become a very wet dough. The difference between focaccia and pizza dough, it's more wet and you don't beat it, okay? You just gently, almost like folding, okay? You don't want to create... Okay, I'm done stirring and you can see there's a slight pull to it, but it breaks apart easy. You're not going to get that long stretch because you didn't overbeat it. Next what we're going to do is we're going to cover this. We're going to put a little oil in the bottom of a bowl, another bowl, okay, and cover it. In the meantime, you could wash out this bowl. So that's what I'll okay, be doing guys, next. Okay, so I let my dough rise and look at the size of that. Is that amazing? You saw how little it was before. Not even 20 minutes went by and unbelievable. It's like two and a half times now, the volume. We knock it down. Get our dough and we slide it right out and we just press to shape it. Okay, my oven is preheated 350 degrees. We're going to put this in for about 15 minutes and then we're going to put a little sauce on it. Focaccia does not have cheese. Okay, I am back again. I pulled my focaccia dough out and it's, it's mostly cooked. Still has about another 15 minutes to go. But I already had a pre-made sauce, we're going to put the sauce on it, so making marinara sauce will be for another show. And this is real simple, so just keep an eye on me, it's really simple. Just going to pour it right out, a little thick, because it's going back in the oven. 
so you don't want to lose too much moisture. So I do put on a little thick. By the way, you can see that these were hand crushed tomatoes. So buy um, peeled tomatoes, crushed them by hand, cook them with some Italian herbs, some garlic, okay, some some oh, chopped while onions. I'm, while I'm filming, my phone keeps going off. A lot of people are trying to reach me. A lot of cooking questions are just because they're home and they never called before, but they're calling me now. Ah, another 15 minutes. So answer their calls and call someone. Love everyone, okay? This is a tough time and you have to make the best okay, of it. Okay, so now we're going to take it out then, let it cool down, and then I'm going to eat it. Tough being at home in a small kitchen, but make the best of it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, Bottom line, good. you can't go out, so bring the restaurant home with you. How's that? Okay? And maybe next time you'll entertain, you'll be so much better at it because you got so much practice home here and now. This is Cooking with Nick by Nick Belmonte of GourmetReviews.net. Thank you for watching. It's someone that I've yet to see, and so my darling, there's nothing more that I can